Tonight we have some disturbing new details in the case of a grandmother accused of killing her 11-year-old grandson at a hotel in Scottsdale back in February. Stephanie Davis and her husband are facing murder and child abuse charges in the child's death. The family had history with both the Department of Child Safety and Scottsdale Police. And tonight, the I-Team's Erica Stapleton breaks down newly released records, revealing why DCS never removed that little boy from the family. Before 11-year-old Chaska Davis died in February 2022, allegedly at the hands of his grandmother and her husband, DCS investigated the family three times in 2017 for physical abuse allegations. Records indicate Chaska and his younger sibling were living with their grandmother at the time. The first allegation from March of that year, Chaska's grandmother reportedly hit him and he had a bruise on his head and scratches on his face. In the second abuse allegation, just two months later in May, records claim Chaska had a, quote, severe black eye that was purple, red, and bruised. Chaska had missed school and reportedly just shook his head when a DCS investigator asked about the injury. DCS found both of those abuse allegations unsubstantiated. The investigations closed. The third abuse allegation involved Chaska's younger half-sibling, who was taken into DCS custody after Chaska died. DCS originally told us this allegation was also unsubstantiated, but the newly released records show the abuse was substantiated, and DCS closed the case anyway. A spokesperson for DCS said he would look into the discrepancy and didn't agree to do an interview with 12 News. DCS messed up. Darcy Olson, a child advocate with Gen Justice. And when you look through these pages, even with the hundreds of redactions they have in there, it's obvious that this child was being harmed at home and was in imminent danger every day. Kids don't want to turn in their parents. Kids don't want to turn in grandma. Claudia Work, a family attorney in Scottsdale who is not involved in the case. She says there are a few reasons DCS could unsubstantiate an allegation, even if there's an injury. A child or other witness may not want to talk about it. And that does not mean that nothing happened. It just means that they can't get the, you know, enough information to bring before a judge. Scottsdale police also investigated the family in 2017 after a school reported concerns of abuse. And again in 2021 in a disorderly conduct case. The I-team uncovered that during all prior contacts with DCS and Scottsdale police, Stephanie Davis, Chaska's grandmother, had an active warrant out for her arrest in Minnesota. In that case, Davis is accused of violating a harassment order of protection in 2016, but it didn't come up in any police or DCS investigation. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.